In the earlier example, we have seen how to calculate this pressure head, gas pressure, absolute pressure. And then this example, we're going to see the energy um, concept. So it says the calculate the velocity of the water at the pipe outlet supply line of the house if no shower head was installed. So just assume that the same diameter pipes are connected between the tank bottom and the um, shower head outlet. So basically you have this 130 feet high water tank, 25 feet of loss between the water tank and the house. And then um, it's two story high and the shower head is fit at um, 20 feet high. So the total uh, head available here is um, in terms of the head is 85 uh, feet of uh, water. Uh, feet of water. That is that is what is available. If you think about this way, 80. So here you get this tank, and then kind of make it simplified. This 85, you know, canceling all the other stuff. So if you think about this, and this thing is uh, vented to the atmosphere. Now here, the total energy stored would be mgh. That's the potential energy, and here everything converts to. Um, um, kind of uh, kinetic energy, so half mb squared. If we simply uh, do that, so just simply the total kinetic energy that will come from that total um, potential energy that we have stored in that tank, and then then the h uh, we can simply calculate v equal to square root of two g h. Now, if you plug all this number here, two times 32.2 times h is 85. So I got this uh, in my calculation. What is that? 74 uh, feet per second. 74 feet per second. Now, uh, so this is kind of like an energy conservation law. Bernoulli's law is the same um, concept as energy conservation law. So let me write down solve uh, using the Bernoulli's law in terms of fluid context. So uh, pressure head at point 0.1 divided by gamma. So P by gamma is the pressure at point 0.1. Velocity head at point 0.1 V squared by 2Z plus elevation head at point 0.1 uh, minus um, all the losses, head losses, and then anything left will be available at point 0.2 in terms of pressure head velocity head and elevation head. So if we make this, um, if I just do the whole thing, so that's 130 feet of water and then the house is sitting at 20 feet high. So if we make this ground like the regular ground where the ground is, so the tank is vented to the atmosphere, so P is zero, gas pressure zero, plus the velocity of that tank, the, you know, the um, level of water going down um, compared to the velocity at the house, um, the water coming out from that pipe will be very, very low. So you can assume this zero too. Now G1, which is 130, so let's assume that this is my point one and this ground is my point two and point one is that water tongue. Then um, minus all the losses, we actually account for all those. So in this case, we have nothing here. Um, oh, sorry, we got 25. We didn't account for that. So 25 feet of uh, loss. You can go back to the problem and read that. Uh, and then uh, P2 is also when it's coming out from um, the shower head uh, outside the shower head basically coming to the atmosphere so P2 is 0 as well plus V square V2 square by 2Z plus G2 your house is um, at, um, so we, we want to know pressure at that point sorry that's not 2 that would be 2 so from from the ground that two point is 20 feet high. So basically it's the same thing, V2 squared would be equal to 
um, 2z and then basically 85 left it's the same 85 here and here so if you solve for v2 uh, it's gonna be 74 feet per second but this is a simple problem you can just simply think of all the um, um, all the um, potential energy is stored in the tank will convert it to the uh, kinetic energy and you are done with that you don't have to write the entire Bernoulli's law to solve this problem I uh, just give you this um, get this opportunity to explain uh, that Bernoulli's law is nothing but the law of energy conservation